Sairam students. Our today's session is based on childhood friends. Chapter number 3 and the chapter name is The Meeting Pool. I am sure students you all are ready with a pen and a notebook to write all the importance that we are going to discuss today. So students let's begin with this exciting story. The story The Meeting Pool is written by Ruskin Bond. Oh yes students before we start with the story let us understand about Ruskin Bond. I'm sure students you all must be aware or you must have definitely heard about Ruskin Bond. Now let us learn something more about him. Now he is Ruskin Bond and let's understand about him. Ruskin Bond was born on 19th May 1934. Oh wow that means his birthday is somewhere near. He is an Indian author of British descent. Ruskin Bond is a children's writer and very popular with them. He received the Padma Shri Award in 1999. The Padma Bhushan Award in 2014. His most renowned works include Our Trees Still Grow in Dehra, The Blue Umbrella and A Season of Ghost. Yes students, now let us understand something more about him. Let me reveal some more secret about him. Ruskin Bond had received Lifetime Achievement Award in the year 2017. He had also worked in Bollywood with the director Vishal Bharadwaj and had released a film based on a popular novel for children, The Blue Umbrella. This movie won the National Award for the Best Children's Film. Isn't it amazing students? Students, let's understand the central idea of this chapter. This chapter talks about importance of friends and bonding. It also talks about appreciating friends and memories. In this story, there are three best friends. They all pledge to meet after 10 years, that is, on 5th April 1964. But due to some reason, or you can say due to change in their personal life, things did not happen the way they expected. Yes, students. We will learn more about this chapter while reading. Alright students, there are three characters in this story. Rusty is the narrator, Anil and Sumi. So, let's begin with this virtuous story. Here. It was Somi's idea that we should meet at the pool in ten, day, 10 years time. When we are men, he said, we must come back to this place 10 years from today. Rusty at midday on the 5th of April 1964. We must return to the pool, no matter where we are or what we are doing, we must meet at the pool, promise, promise, I said, promise, said Anil. Now, 
let's understand this there were three friends playing together in a certain pool in the hillside of their area they used to go there to enjoy swimming there were somi anil and rusty rusty is the narrator of the story somi had put forth a plan that they vowed to meet after 10 years say around 5th of april 1964 each and every one agreed to keep their promise and meet at their beloved pool in forest of the foothills all right students now let's read ahead and understand further it was a school boy's pledge and made in deadly earnest as boys we usually mean the things we say and so we shook hands on it and dived back into the water the pool had been discovered by me a few months earlier i remember that it was going to rain i could see the rain moving across the foothills and i could smell it in the breeze but instead of turning homewards i pushed my way through the leaves and brambles that grew across the forest path i had heard the murmur of water at the bottom of the hill and i wanted to see the water and touch it students let's understand what's written here one day rusty saw the rain moving across the foothills and he could even smell it in the breeze but instead of running homewards he pushed his way towards the leaves and thorny bushes that grew across the forest path and he could also hear some background noise of water at the bottom of the hills rusty got excited and he went further as he wanted to see the water and he wanted to touch it so come on students let's read ahead and understand what did he do after he was excited but before that let us write and learn few new words from these two paragraphs the first one pledge pledge means promise next is deadly earnest in a serious manner foothills a low hill at the base of a mountain the next is brambles a wild thorny bush i hope students you all are writing next is murmur a low continuous background noise so now let's read ahead and understand what happened when rusty wanted to touch the water sliding down a rock face into a small ravine I found the stream running over a bed of shingle water trickled down from the hillside from amongst ferns and grasses and wild prime roses the rocks beside the stream were smooth 
and some of them were grey and ye and some yellow. A small waterfall came down the rocks and formed a deep round pool of apple green water. When I saw the pool, I turned and ran back to town because I wanted to tell the others. Now here, Rusty finds a stream coming down from a mountains and lying over a pebbles. He also finds water tricked down from the hillside, from ferns, grasses and wild prime roses. Students, prime roses is a type of yellow color flowers. He could find grey and yellow rocks also. He takes it as an easy to hang out pool. He was extreme excited and so he goes running to break the news to his close friends Anil and Somi about his discovery. Now students, let's learn who are Anil and Somi. But before that, let's learn and write few new words from this paragraph. So students, start writing and learning these words. The first one, Raven. A deep, narrow, steep-sided valley. Shingle. A mass of small, rounded pebbles. All right, students, let's continue the reading and understand about Anil and Somi. Anil and Somi were my closest friends. Anil lived in a crowded lane of the Dilaran Bazaar. He was wild, moody and impulsive. But he had a certain charm. Somi, on the other hand, was gentle in his way. But in common with Anil, he had a sense of fun. They usually choose the adventures we were to have and I would just grumble and allow myself to be involved in them. But the pool was my own discovery and I was proud of it. We will call it Rusty Pool, said Somi. And remember, it's a secret pool. No one else must know about it. Alright students, let's continue and understand about Somi and Anil. Anil was wild moody and a bit emotional type of boy. But he was still charming boy. He lived in Dilaram Bazaar whereas Somi was gentle boy and like Anil he also had a sense of fun. Both Anil and Somi like game of adventures. And Rusty used to just grumble to get involved in them. But here, for a change, Rusty was proud of himself as he had discovered the pool and named it as Rusty Pool. Now students, it's time to write and learn new words. The first one, impulsive. Impulsive means did things without much concentration. The next one, grumble. Grumble means complain. Now, let's read further. I think it was the pool that brought us together more than anything else. Somi was a beautiful swimmer. He died off rocks and went gliding about under the water like a long golden fish. 
Anil's leg and arms were very long and he threshed about with much vigor but little skill. I could dive off a rock too but I usually landed on my stomach. Here in this paragraph we understand that this pool has strengthened their friendship more. Anil and Somi were perfect swimmers. Somi died and went under the water like a long golden fish. Anil physical strength helped him to swim across the pool. Rusty too dive off a rock but he landed on his stomach. Now students, before we read ahead and understand what happened next, let's start writing and learning the next few new words. The first one, gliding. Move with a smooth. Let's learn the next one, vigor. Physical strength. Next is stretched. Made uncontrollable movements. Now students, let's continue reading and understand how Anil, Sumi and Rusty had fun in pool. There were slim silver fish in the waters of the stream. At first, we tried catching them with a line. But they soon acquired the art of taking the bait without being caught on the hook. Next, we procured a bed sheet. Anil removed it from his mother's laundry and we stretched it across one end of the stream but the fish wouldn't come anywhere near it. Finally, without telling us, Anil fetched a stick of gunpowder from a fireworks shop. Here, the narrator says, they often meet and have fun in the pool by swimming. Other than that, they try hard to catch fish, but to no avail. They applied various method like casting rod or line or bed sheet for fishing, but they were unsuccessful. One day, Anil brought a stick of gunpowder from a fire workshop. Now, here's something really funny. We will definitely read ahead before that. Let's learn some more new words from this paragraph. The first one, bait. Bait means foot placed on a hook. Next is procured. Procure means obtain. Then fetched. Fetched means bring or get. Alright students, now let's read ahead and see the funny part in this chapter. Help. Me and I were startled out of an afternoon nap by a flash across the water and a deafening explosion. Half the hillside tumbled into the pool and so did Anil. But we got him out along with a good supply of fish that were really too small to eat. Anil, however, didn't want all his work going to waste. So he roasted his fish over a fire and ate them by himself, including their tails. Students, here Rusty and Somi were taking rest and suddenly there was an explosion with a gunpowder 
which was done by Anil. Now due to this explosion, half of the hillside fell into the pool. Isn't it funny? And as a result, even Anil was trapped into the explosion. But thank God, he was saved by Rusty and Sumi. While they were saving Anil, they also got a huge amount of fishes. But they were, in, they were of quite in small size. Somehow, Anil did not want to waste his hard work. So, he roasted the fish and ate them along with their tails. How silly, isn't it? Students, again, it's time to learn and write some more new words. The first one, explosion. Explosion means blast. Next is deafening. Deafening means loud sound. Next is thumbled. Thumbled means fell with rolling movement. Students, we will stop this chapter here and will continue in the next chapter session. But before that, let's quickly recollect whatever we had learned till now. The chapter Meeting Pool is written by Ruskin Bond. In this chapter, Rusty is the narrator. As you all have understood, this chapter talks about friends and bonding. There were three best friends, Anil, Somi and Rusty. They all go to the pool near the hillside to enjoy swimming. Somi had put forth a plan that they vowed to meet after 10 years. That is on 5th April 1964. Each and every one agreed to keep their promise and meet at their beloved pool in forest of the foothills. On one certain day, Rusty saw the rain moving across the foothills and he could even smell it in the breeze. But instead of running towards, the, towards his home, he planned to run towards the forest. He ran through the leaves and thorny bushes that grew across the forest path. He could also hear some background noise of water at the bottom of the hills. Rusty got excited and he wanted to touch the water. Rusty finds a stream coming down from the mountains. He also finds water from the hillside, from ferns, grasses and wild prime roses. He could find grey and yellow rocks. He takes it as an easy to hang out pool. He was extremely excited so he decided to inform about this to his best friends. Neil was wild, moody and a bit emotional. Still he was very charming. While on the other hand, Somi was gentle boy and like Anil, he also had a sense of fun. Both Anil and Somi like game of adventures. The pool which Rusty had found, it was named as Rusty Pool. This pool has strengthened their friendship more. Anil, Somi were perfect swimmers. Somi dived and went under the water like a long gold golden fish. While Anil physical strength helped him to swim 
across the pool. These three friends often meet and have fun in swimming. Other than that, they try hard to catch fish but to no use. They applied various methods like casting rod or line or bed sheet for fishing but they all were unsuccessful. One day Anil bought a stick of gunpowder for from a fireworks shop. When Rusty and Somi were taking rest there was a loud explosion with gunpowder which was done by Anil without any intimation. Due to this explosion, half of the hillside fell into the pool and as a result, even Anil was trapped in the explosion. But he was saved by Rusty and Somi. They also got good supply of fish along with this after explosion. But these fishes were very small. As Anil did not want to waste his hard work, he roasted the fish and ate them. I hope students, you all have understood till here. We will continue this chapter in our next session. Yes, before that, your home assignment. As you all know, you all are aware of it. You will be getting a home assignment. You have to click on that link. You have to complete your assignment and then click submit button. Alright students, with this we end our today's session. See you again. Sairam and take care.